How you doing ladies and gentlemen, this is Indeed Gaming here. I am in fact Mr. Indeed and welcome to my channel. Please do like, share, and comment on this video and we are going to get right into it. I'm not going to make this one too, too long. Now, um, a second look at the what they did with Air Motion Testing Ground. Um, <clears throat> I'm still mixed on it. Um, there's certain things I do like, certain things I don't like. I'm going to try not to spend too much time on things like uh, them just increasing the sweeping range because there's, there's been way too much time when I'm, you know, throwing an attack at somebody and they dodge and their, their dodge is finished. They're standing there and my attack would just go right through them. So I'm going to try not to spend too much time on stuff like that. Uh, that's just something that just blatantly just needs to be fixed. It's not really a rework thing, I guess more of a functional thing or a technical thing um excuse me uh, i'm not gonna try to i'm not gonna spend too much time on things like um the fact that he still doesn't jump when he does his dash forward heavy <laughs> or he um barely jumps compared to what he used to do i guess i should say i don't know that just needs to be fixed still uh, I'm going to spend more time on things like the ring the bell thing, which is really the crux of this change. It's really one of the, one of his biggest changes, I guess I should say. Uh, I don't I don't like the ring the bell thing, personally. Not to say that I don't think it has its place, or somewhere it could be I could fit it into the rework, or I would fit it into the rework maybe, but I just don't like the way it's being done. And some things may have been accident, some things may have been by design. You may remember that when I did my first Aramusha video, I put that he could do the kick off of the um, dash forward heavy. I still think that that should be the case. Unfortunately, I also had him doing the dash forward side heavy afterwards, guaranteed, but that is no longer a dash forward heavy. So I would say that if they could give him a dash forward light that would allow him to start his chain, that would be better. Uh, partly because I don't really like the fact that the um, the ring the bell is serving as a light attack anymore. I don't like that. I don't want that to be my light attack. I don't want that to be my damage. I would much rather that I got the, the uh, kick into a dash forward light and then I can start my chain. I would even much rather they had the ring the bell attack, but um, it doesn't do damage, but it guarantees me a light so I can start my chain. As it stands right now, I'll do the ring the bell thing, I'll get 10 damage, and then the opponent can instantly block, parry, or dodge anything that I do afterwards. I, I don't like that at all. So hopefully that is something that they're looking into changing. I don't know if it no longer dazing people was just an error. error that, that that happened to happen, you know, something that slipped through the cracks when they were, you know, putting out the testing grounds. But um, the way I would do it, personally, the way I think that they should go forward with them is the dashboard heavy saw feints into a kick which guarantees a dash forward light. But the ring the bell attack, you can soft faint into that from any heavy. So you can soft faint from that into your initiating heavy. You can soft faint from that to your chain heavy. And you can soft faint into that from your finisher heavy. That's what I would do. And it would also daze. So it dazes. Uh, kind of like it well not kind of like exactly like it used to and then it, gi it gives you a little bit more um, ability to get back into your chain or to do something offensively because as it stands right now your opponent can see whatever you're about to do um, last change that I would make and this is another one from my original video and that is um, that his finisher heavies would be undodgeable. I think his finisher heavies should be undodgeable. Personally, uh, I've seen some people say that it should be unblockable. I don't hate that, 
but um and honestly it being unblockable may even be better for its kit i wouldn't be surprised by that at all but i don't want i don't want to just throw unblockables on him just because but i think the undodgeable property makes a little bit more sense but honestly they could do either or but they have to increase its uh, sweeping range because right now it's garbage <laughs> But um, that is all I really have for the Aramusha rework. That's the only reason I'm really making this video because I was going to make it, but then I decided not to. But now I'm making it anyway because I've seen a lot of people who just seem flat out happy with the rework and they have like no complaints. And I'm just like, I don't know. I don't know if I'm crazy here and I'm the only one who's really noticing these issues or thinking that they could do better, especially when they're, you know, what they did with Hiddle Carry. Like, uh, there's no way for me anyway I could allow them to do what they did with Hiddle Carry, but then you know kind of seem like they're a bit half-assing with Aramusha because people have act been asking for Aramusha to work for way longer <laughs> and I'm biased of course so that's all I got for this video